Yeah. Hello YouTube. Um, today we're in a small piece of paradise at a non-disclosed location at my uh, friend Andy's property to be honest, uh, right behind his cabin. And um, he yesterday he told me that he uh, got himself a couple of um, uh, whoopee slings, Amsteel whoopee slings, the original ones that he purchased from uh, Tenth Wonder, I think it is. Uh, and Neil provided him with those, which are the original ones. And um, basically, the result of him buying these is that actually he saved himself quite a lot of weight because he got rid of, uh, if you look at here, uh, these usually come with a webbing uh, in this particular place there, a bit of webbing, and then there's a lot of rope like this. And we had a setting, Andy and I, whereas we used two. Um, two rings in order to um, actually tension the hammock. I don't know if you've looked at my latest video. Um, you know, I passed over it very quickly um, just to show you how I set up our uh, my hammock uh, in uh, in the piece of woodland where we were. And basically, what I've decided is that I'm going to do exactly the same thing as Andy did because, to be honest, uh, Neil is providing with top-notch uh, products and to be perfectly honest saving the weight uh, considering the weight of my backpack Andy who's behind the camera will tell you my backpack was looking like a six-wheel <laughs> a six-wheel truck but uh, you know um, you know every every gram counts at a certain time so we're gonna take a closer look at what this does actually and how it works and you'll understand it's a, it's a genius idea it's so simple that you know you think you should have thought about it uh, ages ago but hey that's how you make your money these days. Uh, you find out things that are very, very practical, very easy to do, and that are cheap to make, and then you sell them very, very, very expensive, but not Neil. He will give you a good price. Tenth wonder, remember that one. I'll, um, I'll come back in a second to show you this a bit with a closer up. Okay, guys, now, this is the whoopee sling, uh, and what it is actually is a tube, a bit like the outer of your paracord. Uh, it's made of a technical uh, fiber. I think it's based on nylon, uh, I'm not quite sure. It will hold, uh, you know, the, the fiber itself will hold up to 800 kilos, which is a lot of weight. But uh, Neil is, to be on the safe side, says that this could take 150 kilos. Anyhow, what it is basically is a tube of trest fiber, you know, um, and basically what it is is that it is fed back through itself here at this point there basically you've got the loop coming out there comes back in and goes inside itself continues and gets here so what happens is that plain and simply when you pull on the outer tube it constricts around the tube that's on the inside and it won't let it budge and basically what will happen now is that if I pulled on this here whilst pushing on that if you can look at what's happening and basically is that it is actually my hammock is coming you know to the tension that I would want and there I can tell you that even if I pulled as much as I could it wouldn't budge trust me I'm trying that now to get it the other way around all you have to do is really literally push on the outer tube put your finger in the middle push on the outer tube pull on it and there it is it comes out very very easily and there you go so that eases the setup of your hammock to get the proper tension. You know, some people will like to have your hammock um, at height of shoulders. Some people will have it, uh, you know, uh, bent. Some people will have it flat. I, I'm, I for one, like it flat. Other people will like it bent a bit. They like to, you know, to slide into their hammock. I like to be to lay as flat as possible. So this eases it, makes it a lot, you know, easier to set up, a lot faster. Very, very, very safe because the more you put weight on it, the more tight it pulls and to be honest for the price that it is I think it's 12 pounds I think it is for the couple of them not just one but the two of them and each one of them is one meter fifty um, if I if I'm not mistaken I've checked on the website uh, they come in a small stuff sack that um, Neil sends you trust me guys it's a buy it's a deal it's something that you know you will use for a lot of things and including your hammock even if you wanted to to hang something to a tree you can use that as well you know at that price um, it's better than um, you know than um, paracord in the sense that you can you've got multiple usages for this your paracord as well but this will not rot uh, your paracord will um, and this is a great 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 item so uh, thank you to Andy for showing us this um, I'll uh, set up this hammock completely to show you how it looks like when it's finished when it's set up properly and um, I'd like to thank Andy and Neil from 10th Wonder um, you know for the great job that these guys are doing anyhow thank you very much for that YouTube um, I'll show you this hammock in a minute Hello again. As you can see, the setup is pretty simple. Obviously, you have 
your hammock that starts here, the cord that comes to the storm ring that will not allow the water get into your hammock if it's covered. Obviously you have the webbing here and you've got the arm steel there. And to be perfectly honest, if you look at the hole uh, of the hammock, it's um, at shoulder height for, me, height for me. And this would be the size that I personally would like. I think that Andy prefers it a bit more, you know, um, uh, sagging uh, in terms of uh, that. But, you know, it's, again, guess what this one is? It's a hornet. <laughs> you got the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. It's 10th wonder. By the way, guys, um, in the last video that we made with Andy when we were in our undisclosed location uh, for the overnighter that was a fail because of the, the rain and mainly the aim of that was to do some cooking on the fire so I hope that we're going to be able to catch up on that uh, but one thing that I'd like to say is that we've been both surprised uh, my weight, I weigh over 23 stones, uh, almost 24, 25, I'm not sure, it's 136 kilos if my wife hears that she's going to hang me to dry you know, by, by the ears Anyhow, uh, what I'd like to say is this, I'm 1 meter 87, uh, which is quite tall, quite fat, let's say it, and I slept like a baby. I mean it, um, there was no way on earth I could have imagined it to be so comfortable to have that you know, the XL, the Hornet XL, with obviously one zip. I'm gonna to have to ask Neil to, to modify that one for me, and I'll need two zips on both sides, because that's a major annoyance when you set up your hammock and then you discover that you've got it the wrong way around. <laughs> You're not gonna start it again. But honestly, these hammocks are great. With the Amsteel uh, Whoopi Sling uh, and the Storm Rings, uh, I think that uh, Neil is getting really close to perfection. Um, I think he's modified his new hammocks as well. Um, apparently, uh, he's been having complaints about his customers, not complaints, but, you know, ideas thrown at him, asking him to put, um, you know, those bars that actually allow this here. You see those bars there? Now he's doing them in a fashion that makes them a lot easier to remove so that when you want to put your hammock away, you can use snake skins. And I think that the next step for him would be actually to create some snake skins, which will make it a lot easier on you and I, Andy, at least, I think, uh, to actually get... Um, you know, snake skins and get those uh, up and running. Honestly, quality, price, comfort, second to none, in my opinion. Um, we've looked at the tops, we've looked at this, we've looked at those. Neil, you're doing a fantastic job there. Take care. Thank you very much, YouTube. Have a good day.